there are some tests which uh, benefit from repetition. Let's say you want to repeat a test five times. There is this thing called repeated test annotation that you can stick on top of, um, of a test that you want repeat it right so this takes the place of the at test you see here the at test annotation is something that you stick on top of every um, every test guess what there are other alternatives to this there is a at repeated test annotation which lets you repeat a test multiple times now i can use this instead of the at test annotation i'm going to import this from jupyter api Repeated test takes an argument which is how many times you want the test repeated. Let's say I want this test to run three times. Okay. Now, with just with this, we're going to be running the compute circle method, uh, test method, three times. You see here? This becomes an expandable node now. If I expand it, repetition one of three, two of three, three of three, right? So it's calculated, it's, it's done a bunch of things here for you. It's created multiple repetitions, it's run the test multiple times, and it's also created a nice display name for you, right? You didn't have to do this. You It's created a display name and it said repetition, repetition number of total number of repetitions, right? It's created this and it's made sure that the test runs every time. What happens if repetition two fails, right? You try to repeat this three times and one of those repetitions fail. It follows the same structure here. This thing is gonna fail and as a result, this thing is going to fail, the top node. So the test is successful only if all of the repetitions are successful. If any one of them fail, the test fails as a result, right? This is something that you might find handy. So this is something, um, I'm trying to think of a good use case for this thing. I'm not able to think of it right now, but um, I'm sure there are use cases for it. There are also ways in which you can get hold of this repetition information, right? So let's say you want to do different things depending on which repetition there is, right? So let's say here, if repetition one, do something. If repetition two, do something else. Let's say you want to do that, right? How do you get hold of the repetition? You do this by passing an argument here called repetition info. That's R-E-P-E repetition info and then uh, give it a name so you're basically accepting an argument to your test method which is a repeated test now guess what every time JUnit runs your test for every repetition it's going to pass in an object called repetition info which is going to contain information about that repetition right so here I can do repetition info dot and here are a bunch of methods that I can use so I have uh, get total repetitions and get current repetition so current repetition is going to change each time and total repetitions is the how many times you have asked it to repeat right so you get that information in your test and you can do different things depending on whether it's cycle one or cycle two or cycle three Right? You see where this is going? So you can essentially have the logic of your test do different things depending on the repetition.